we have given argument and we have to use standard forms to determine the duality of this argument. Let's read this first. If I get the job and work hard, then I will get promoted. If I get promoted, then I will be happy. I will not be happy. Therefore, either I will not get the job or will not work hard. First, we have to find simple statements. We have if, then. So, we have here conditional statement. First simple statement will be I get the job. And because we have and, it means we have here conjunction statement too. So let's put that P is first simple statement and it will be I get the job. Next, let's put that Q is I work hard. Next, we have I will get promoted. So let's put that R is I will get promoted. Next, we have if I get promoted, so it's the same, then I will be happy. So we will put that S is I will be happy. Next, we have I will not be happy, so we have negation of S. Therefore, either I will not get the job, so we have PI get the job, so we will have negation of P, and or will not work hard, so we have negation of Q. So we have all simple statements. Now we can rewrite our argument in symbolic form. So we have first conditional statement, if something, then, so we have conditional statement and we have here and. So inside conditional statement, we have, we have conjunction statement. So first we will have, I will get the job, so this is P and work hard, this is Q. And next we have that this imply I will get promoted. This is our R. Next we have again if it means we have conditional statement. I get promoted. Promoted. So this is our R. Then I will be happy. Happy is our S. So S. So we have R implies S. Next, we have I will not be happy, so this is negation of S. So this is our first premise. Let's write this. This is our first premise. This is our second. And third. Next, we have word therefore. So it means that we have next conclusion. So we can underline our premises and we have to put three dots. They are stand for therefore. And we have either I will not get the job. Or we have, it means we have this junction statement here. I will not get the job, so this is negation of P. We have or, I will not work hard, so this is negation of Q. 
So next, we have to look at our promises first. We see that our second premise and our third premise is standard form known as modus tollens. Let me write this, that second and third premise matches the standard form known as modus tollens. So now we can rewrite our symbolic form. First premise we have to copy. We have P and Q imply R and we will substitute the second and third premise by negation of R. So now we have conclusion not P or not Q. This is our conclusion. Next, we can rewrite our conclusion from De Morgan's law that this is equivalent to, let me write this, that not P or not Q is equivalent to not P and Q. This is negation of conjunction. This is from De Morgan's law. So now we can rewrite our symbolic form and we have P and Q imply R, not R, this is our second premise, and our conclusion we can rewrite that this is not P and Q. Now we see that this symbolic form matches again the standard form known as modus tollens. So this is, we can write again modus tollens. This symbolic form matches the standard form known as modus tollens. So it means that our argument is valid. Let me remind you, maybe here I can put this standard form, when we have A implies B, this is first premise, the second is not B, so the conclusion is not A. We have exactly the same symbolic form. Our A is me like this here a is equal p and q and b is our r so we have exactly the same form here that's why our argument is valid this is my solution